Hi everybody, this is Deanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of my Traveler's Notebook TN that I'm gonna be showing you how to add the signature page cord. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's gonna hold each of your signatures. Um, and I'm gonna do three, um, enough for three signatures. And if you watched part one, these each are a signature. They're the inserts, the half pockets, and the white paper for documentation and pictures and all that. So I'm gonna um, add the cord to add these inserts. I hope that makes sense. And for the cord, um, I'm using this white stretchy mix or cord. It's a little thin. I wish it was a little thicker, but this is what I have in my stash. And you can use whatever you have on hand. I do recommend like the elastic type. So um, you'll need a hole puncher. I like the smaller one because my cord is so small. And a button if you want to embellish the back side. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my permanent marker here. And if you want more signatures um, inserts, you can make more holes. But in this particular video, I'm only doing three. So you do you. Um, I feel three is enough. Um, more is fun. You can have it as like a 2024 book. If you take multiple trips, you can keep, you know, add inserts, signature inserts. So just keep that in mind. Um, and I believe you can probably put about five, but I'm just gonna, um, mark here, here, and here. So I'm just eyeballing where I'm going to punch my hole. And if you can see, it's um, maybe about three quarters of an inch up. And I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mark three holes. I'm going to try to do it as evenly as I can. And there, so there's my three holes. And then I am going to try to find this, the center, which I'm just eyeballing it. And I'm gonna mark one hole and two holes. And that's kind of far apart. Um, depending on the size of your button, this is a pretty big button that I picked out, but I thought it was really cute because it looks like water. And this is, you know, for like a cruise. So, and then I'm just gonna take my hole puncher and punch let's see i always get my paper stuck up in there punch punch And 
punch. So there's the bottom. And then we're going to punch the top. I like to make sure I can see that I'm punching right over that black dot. So this laminating tends to stick in there with the little papers. And here. I don't have the crocodile that is the extension one, and I can't get to these holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my pokey tool and I'm gonna poke a hole through and I'm just gonna create a hole by going back and forth, back and forth. So that should be big enough. Um, if you have something a little bit bigger, you could certainly, let's see if this one's a little bigger. It is. And it just, it's real easy to punch through. Just don't punch yourself or stab yourself. Okay, and now we're ready. So, my, originally I would not cut this. I would just leave it on the spool and here's my spool and maneuver it so that you get the length you want. But this is approximately 55-0 inches long. And you're gonna start from the outside and work and in. Let's start from this side, because this is your opening. This is the front of your book. So the hole to your right, the first hole, and you're gonna come up and you're gonna put it in your first hole. And pull it through. And then through the top, so you're at the top now, you're just gonna Put it in your second hole. And this confused me the first time I made a book. Um, it just can, I was confused. I think I was watching more than three signatures. And when I pra did a practice signature, it went so smooth, so I really like just doing three. So then I come down to the bottom. Now I'm in the bottom center. And so now we have two loops for to add our signature. And then, so I'm gonna flip it over. I'm still at the bottom. I'm going to go through the last one and do the last hole on top. So there you have your three. You want to have it secure or tight and a little even. So I'm just going to play with it. 
And I'll show you why. Because you're going to want both of your strings about the same length. So, and you're going to want this a little tight. So I'm just playing with it until I can get it about the same. So this is still, so I need to, <clears throat> Just take your time, enjoy the process so that you put a lot of love into your book. And so now at the top of your book, I'm gonna take my string and turn it over so you can see. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna just put it in the very center one. And pull it through. So it's gonna look a little bit like that. And I'm gonna do the same with the bottom. I'm gonna take it and put it through the center. And so this is what you have. You have three pretty tight, st stretchy cords and your two strings. And your strings are coming from each end. You're just gonna take and put the top string in the top hole here, the bottom, in the bottom hole I'm going to turn it over so it's a little uneven but because the time of the video and everything I'm not going to take the time to go back and make sure that it's really even or we'll be here all day because I'm a slow crafter I I really try to um, to take my time and if I'm spending the money on nice paper and a nice project that I want to document, I just, I prefer to just take my time and do it right. Then you're just going to tie a knot. I prefer two whole buttons, um, but I couldn't find a button that I was happy with. Um, so you're just going to do that. And then let me grab something real quick. this I just wanted to show you that you can do it. And I think it would be really cute with pony beads. Um, let's get some colors out. But, so the right side, your string, you can add some beads or charms or whatever your heart desires. You can add spacers. This is just to give you an idea of how cute you can make this. And then you're gonna close your book and you're gonna tie this. And just to the point where it's firm, but not like pulling firm, like too firm. 
and you can make a couple knots. You can do however you want to do, but there you go. So now you have a closure on your book. You have your button on your back that's super duper cute. You have some beads. You can, like I said, you can add spacers, you can add more. Um, so many options. So you're gonna open it up and you have your three dividers. So now I'm gonna take my <clears throat> inserts and like I said, you can add as many papers in the middle as you want. And one's a little shorter than the other, and I prefer it that way. So the, those were my measurements. If you don't like the measurements, keep consistent with the height. So if that makes any sense. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment. I would be happy to answer any um, any questions that you have. So once you have your paper, I recommend 10 sheets and that will give you 20 per signature or less. You do you. And then when you're comfortable with how many, you can staple it here and here. I have one of those elongated staplers to do it. Um, if you don't, you, I didn't, I don't have any problems in my Hawaii book. Um, so I didn't staple mine. Um, and you can, and then you can add pages if you need to, or you can take pages out. So what you do is you just slip it in. There's one, find the center, straighten it out, insert two. And just be mindful of I'll show you. So there's number two of uh, these cords not to get those in the center because that's where you jo join them outside to, to do your closure. And then here's number three. You just slip it and tuck it and there you go. And now the fun part is decorating. Um, this did come with some, um, oh, ephemera, a packet of ephemera. And then in here, I have the full page of sticker book. So, um, so it's really fun to just embellish as you go, like here, I haven't done much to the front yet. Um, I'm in the process of a lot of things going on, so I don't get the time that I want to, to work on crafts as much right now. Um, but I did add this, and it's really cute to add paper clips. A lot of people stamp that have some really cute stamps um, in your tuck spots. You can do documentation or um, here I have a few thing, ephemeras that I want to add eventually. Um, so here I just put my little Alaska Airlines thing and just some cute ephemera vacation um we i watched a really funny movie i laughed my head off i probably cracked up everybody on the plane and i had a uh 
some red wine and a cheese platter and um, it's a six hour flight to Hawaii. So um, I was pretty, pretty content there um, and enjoyed my trip. And I just saved bits and pieces along the way to put in there. Um, I showed you some pictures. Um, here's, we rented a food truck um, for my son's backyard when he proposed and had a surprise um, party in the back. And so this is what the food truck um, provided. So I got one of those to figure out how to put it in there. We went to Halloway, Halle Ava Joe's, which was, this is a napkin. We met up with um, some friends from Washington State that happened to be in Hawaii and we had dinner with them. And our kids are really good friends, so that was a lot of fun. A Tommy Bahama coaster for it. These are just giving you a couple ideas of things you can collect. Um, this is the Tommy Bahama menu, a special menu. We were there in January. Um, and so I thought it'd be really cute to cut out um, what I had. And I did have the short rib and it was amazing, Just amazing. And this is the regular menu. Um, so I could just take some bits and pieces from that. Uh, a napkin. You could take receipts. You could take candy wrappers of what you enjoyed eating. Or um, just embellish it. Any, however your heart desires. Um, like I said, I, I'm still working on mine. And... Um, pictures are always tells a million words when you look back on your trip. So, um, I love adding pictures and, um, it's, it's just priceless. So have fun. Enjoy making your book. I would love to see what you make and, um, your destination of your trip. I've had a few people let me know where they're going and and are really excited to um, to make one of these for their trip. It's compact. It fits in your suitcase and um, safe travels to everyone who is going to make one and going somewhere. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you know, if I could have improved or what I could have done different or if it you liked it. I tried to go slow and clear, be very clear. Um, so, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will and follow along with me. And I will catch you on the next crafty video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.